What's going on, YouTube? We back in the Low Key Cave, Keyshawn Nine's YouTube page, aka Mr. Low Key. And of course, I'm back with some more ghetto reviews. This time, I'm actually doing it at my car. I'm still at work, but like I said, I'm, I'm still getting some stuff done as far as my setup and how I'm going to be presenting stuff again once I get back into doing my normal reactions, reviews, podcasts, etc. But until that time, I'm still going to be coming through, giving reviews here and there, especially for certain movies or TV shows that I really want to talk about. And of course, Deadpool and Wolverine, man. Um, I ain't gonna act like this was like one of my most anticipated comic book movies or movies um in general this year. Uh, if you want me to be honest, I got horror movies that I'm looking uh, more forward to that I was looking as far as this movie, like Alien or uh, Romulus or whatever. That I'm looking more forward to that than this. But I'm like a horror fan. With all that being said, I grew up watching the X Men movies. I mean, shit, I grew up watching the X Men cartoons, but. Hugh Jackman was my introduction to a live version of Wolverine. And from that first movie, the first X-Men movie, just the introduction to him in that cage match, that nigga was Wolverine. Like PG-13 or not, even just overall comic book accurate or even the um, cartoon, you know, back in the 90s, ac accuracy to his character, that was Wolverine. And the fact that the movie, what, 2002? It's 2024? And shout out to Hughes Jackman, his resume, and just what he's been able to do to keep himself conditioned to play this role and to keep coming back. This was definitely, definitely one of the highlights for me as far as going into the watching this movie. With all that being said, man, I can tell you right now, it's the cameos absolutely probably for me almost took the movie over for me. Like the overall story, it, it, yes, yes, yes. I mean, in the uh, trailers, you know, uh, Wade Wilson, you know, Deadpool TVA got his ass and he's pretty much now the way it's presented in the trailers is definitely different as far as how the story is going to go as far as the plot. And I'm not going to get into detail. This is going to be spoiler free or whatever. But the setup is to me was definitely different from what the trailer was presented as far as what we thought we was going to get with uh, Wade Wilson as far as Deadpool and what he was going to be doing with Wolverine. But I do love the setup, man, and it makes sense. And I love the uh, fourth wall breaking as far as the way Deadpool is constantly talking to us as the audience and just all the meta references, everything as far as what we've seen, the complaints about the Marvel movies, even everything with Fox and all the X-Men movies or whatever, just the way they was able to put everything together, it definitely worked. I was, I'm one of the people that I feel like Marvel's over the top with the jokes. I feel like shit don't land at all. Um, I like, I like some of the Ant-Man movies. I feel like they got some good jokes. This shit had me actually laughing. And it's hard for me as a person, I feel like, to make me laugh with these type of films. Because I feel like the jokes, not really generic, but they just like, ah, okay, this that Marvel shit, blah. This shit was actually funny, though. The reference, references, I think, was really getting to me, too. It was making it so much funny. But I'm telling you, these cameos, man. Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, even without them being spoiled, those cameos was like, all right, he's cool, but y'all y'all didn't. No. <laughs> um, even with um, No Way Home, the cameos in this movie, I, I'm sorry, y'all. They definitely was way better than No Way Home, but I think it was more so because people weren't surprised. We knew we was getting Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, you know, the cameos or whatever, um, William Dafoe and them and all of that. With this, it's going to take you off guard. I know for a fact, I think it's this one cameo in particular, that shit was amazing the way they set it up. Because you thinking it's another character. I don't want to get to nothing away. But the way they set that cameo up was so good and perfect. I was sitting there like, oh, shit. Like, I ain't, it is, it's, I'm telling you, man, for me, just watching these movies, the, the surprise factor to take you off. And once again, if you grew up watching these movies, as far as the, the Fox versions, the 20th century Fox, Fox versions or Disney version as far as overall with the Marvel characters or whatever and how the way they've been spread around before they got this cinematic universe and grew up watching growing growing up watching these movies and going into this the cameos are fucking great they are great it's another cameo in here which I think some people were kind of like we don't know if that's gonna be in here but it was it's going to be a surprise. I don't give a damn what you say. It's going to be a surprise. And there's layers of this shit on and on. And the fact that the cameos are not just, hey, how y'all doing? We was in here. No, we get good fucking action set pieces with these cameos. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm excited. I'm excited, man, because I, I did not expect it to land the way it did. 
and Hughes Jackman Wolverine, man. Like, there is, oh my gosh, the flowers. The flowers. Wolverine, Hughes Jackman. Like, the homage, the respect they gave to this character in this movie, man. And the fact that I almost feel like we still got somewhat of a different version. And shout out to Hughes Jackman and his acting skills, man. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan. I mean, I don't really know too much about the character as far as comic accuracy or whatever. But let alone, I wasn't too much of a fan of the first two movies. I like them. But, nah. But going into this and the way they even give this character. Because Deadpool as a character and Wade Wilson and Wade, um... God damn, I can't think of the actor's name. But the way he portrays that character is more so he's just silly all the time. He's always, joke, always, always, always. So when they are able to do certain things with Deadpool as far as that uh, heartfelt moments, emotional moments, and you are into it, it's like, okay. Because I feel like we have never really got that from that character in the first two movies. And maybe some little hints here and there, but the way they transition his character, keeping that whole thing with the already silliness, and it's throughout, it's all of it. Him and Hugh Jackman's back and forth, all of that is in there, but it's the way they set up these good emotional set pieces that don't take nothing away from the movie and it's still keeping you with that R rating, that silliness, and we still engage. But I was really... um taken back by the way I was caring so much about Wade and the fight that he was as far as trying to do what he was trying to do to protect the people that he loved and to save the people that he loved and like once again what they was able to do with Hughes Jackman's character as far as Wolverine man and just the flowers of paying homage to this guy who's been playing this character the only guy you how many times we've seen these switchovers as far as Superman's Batman's um even with the uh Marvel characters uh I don't want to get to it, but I feel like I'll be giving something away about naming certain characters. But, man, the way they able to do these cameos and these secret appearances, it's not even just cameos. It's other little things they add in here when certain people or certain just fans have been asking about. And the way they able to do it, oh, man, people, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, immediately you got to watch this. You have to go watch this immediately so you will not be spoiled. I'm telling you. Um, outside of that, man, I really... I just couldn't believe how much I enjoy not only as far as the cameos, but I was engaged with Wolverine and Deadpool because I'm telling you, it's certain cameos in here. I was like, man, let me stick with these people for a minute. I, I want to see Deadpool Wolverine, but can I just stick with them for a minute so I can enjoy these moments? That's all. But uh, let it, like I said, being spoiler free, and I do want to come back and do a full on spoiler talk. I'm hoping I'm able to join some other people so we can have a full on spoiler discussion. This is definitely the best. As far as what we've got out the, the years, TV shows, the last couple of years, this the one. And if they're going to go from here and lead on with other Marvel movies and even TV shows after this and keep this same type of presence, I know not the cameos, but just that feeling, just the writing is Sean Levy, man. Yes, the director, you did your thing, man. The writing, the pace, all of that shit just works. It just works. And it's been a long time since we've had some shit like this with Marvel so definitely, definitely go check this out immediately so you will not be spoiled, man. And I was so glad I wasn't spoiled by the cameos because No Way Home, other movies, Doctor Strange, them, that shit was just spoiled out the gate immediately. So definitely go check this out. It's definitely worth the wait. It was, I feel like, I almost feel like the expectations went above with the certain cam I'm telling you, man. And it's the way they did them. So definitely go check this out, man. Um, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification button. Um, oh, as far as villains-wise, too, uh, Cassandra Nova, man, she's definitely formable. She got some shit in here. It's almost horror-like, the shit she do. That whole shit with uh, Wanda and uh, Doctor Strange, Bulls, horror, blah, 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 whatever. Cassandra Nova and the shit she is doing in this movie, she got some shit she doing with her hand. And I I'm telling you, just watch the movie, man. I was sitting in the theater like, oh, my God. God, like this is salt. Like I'm telling you, it's a little disturbing in my opinion. But anyway, man, once again, definitely go check this out for what y'all explore. That spoil, man. This was a good one. It is worth the wait. We out.